Okay, so in this video we are going to solve a problem that was asked in NET to the, uh, December 2018 paper. This is a problem on classical mechanics. It says in an attractive Kepler problem described by the central potential V of R which is equal to minus K by R a particle of mass M with a non-zero angular momentum can never reach the center due to the centrifugal barrier. If we modify the potential to V of R is equal to minus K by R minus beta by R cube, the additional term, one finds that there is a critical value of the angular momentum uh, which we can call as LC below which there is no centrifugal barrier. The question asks uh, to calculate this value of the critical angular momentum. Now as you can see, uh, if you just look at the options um, and calculate the dimensions of the quantities given in the options, you would find that only option 3 contains the dimension of uh, uh, angular momentum and therefore that has to be the answer. Okay, but now let us solve this question um, in a proper way and try to understand the physics behind it. So, if you write the Lagrangian for a, uh, a central force problem uh, and deduce the radial equation uh, from that Lagrangian, we find that uh, there is actually an effective potential uh, working in the problem. Uh, which is given by V of R plus a centrifugal term which is equal to L square by 2 mR square and uh, for a positive value of the angular momentum L uh, you will find you will find uh, that the V effective of R for this particular uh, uh, VR given to the question looks something like uh, as shown in the figure and as you can clearly see there is a barrier which is called the centrifugal barrier because of which any particle coming from let's say r is equals to infinity will not be able to cross it and reach the center if you want to make um, the effective potential such that it does not contain a centrifugal barrier what we have to ensure is that the effective potential uh, is uh, is a monotonic function uh, such that there is no maximum or minima okay like this as shown here and for that uh, we need to ensure that there are no roots of of the derivative of uh, the effective potential and how can we do so we can do so by calculating the p effective uh, of r and then its derivative and if we if we try to make it zero we would find that we have to solve the quadratic equation uh, which is m k r square minus l square r plus 3 beta m is equal to zero now this quadratic equation we want um, that this quadratic equation uh, should not have any real root so that there is no maxima or minima of the effective potential and which is possible if and only if the discriminant of this quadratic equation turns out to be negative and therefore we see that if l to the power 4 minus 12 k m square beta which is the discriminant of the quadratic equation becomes negative which amounts to saying that the angular momentum is less than 12 km square beta to the power 1 by 4 the uh, the v effective as a function of r uh, will be a monotonically increasing function and is always negative for all r okay that is v dash effective of r doesn't have any real root and therefore the v effective of r looks something like as shown in uh, this figure and so as you can see here for this effective potential there is no barrier which the particle faces and therefore any L which is less than this uh, critical value of the angular momentum which is equal to 12 km square beta to the power 1 by 4 
the particle do not face any centrifugal barrier and therefore can reach the center okay so thank you for watching the video